A while. Why will your mom stop calling you so much? That's what happens when you're an only child. Abi, unlike me and my blood-sucking siblings. Whoa, that's harsh. I beg. What's harsh is them calling me every five minutes. Brother Ima, I've not paid my school fees. Brother Ima, landlord called again. I'm tired. Every minute, one money trouble or the other. We have to identify the real black tax. It's the systemic issues. The way our labor is exploited and our resources pillaged by imperialists and their local cronies. It's the way corporations and groups like the IMF actively work to enslave black and brown people. Rather than pathologize and frame poor black people as exploitative, what we need to do is politicize the matter. This is said all the time and it's because it's true. We have to learn to organize and build solidarity between those who have been lucky enough to make it and those who are in the trenches barely surviving. We have to organize with a singular cause the creation of systems that center communal life and well-being over capitalist ideals like individualism and accumulation of wealth at all costs. And remember, if you're Ima in your family, among your siblings, you're the lucky one. Don't punch down. Let's close with Eugene Debs' powerful words of solidarity. This was his statement to the court when he was sent to prison for speaking out against World War I. He said, Your Honor, years ago I recognized my kinship with all living beings. And I made up my mind that I was not one bit better than the minister on earth. I said then, and I say now, that while there is a lower class, I am in it. And while there is a criminal element, I am of it. And while there is a soul in prison, I am not free. This solidarity. We're together in this. Together is how we survive. Let's remember that.